we have to change the view of monetary policy. Monetary policy is not about controlling the money supply or controlling reserves in order to hit the money supply. It's about setting an interest rate target and then supplying reserves horizontally. Raising and lowering the interest rate has an indeterminate effect on the economy. Now, most people think raising the rate slows down the economy. Okay? I'm saying we don't know. Raising the rate might speed it up. Raising interest rates actually might be inflationary. Lowering rates might be deflationary. In fact, I think in modern developed capitalist economies with a lot of debt, raising the rate tends to be inflationary because it increases government payments to the private sector for interest. Lowering the rates tends to be deflationary. But we can't just make a general statement about what's going to happen because you have to look at the institutions and the debt ratios and things like what's the marginal propensity to consume out of interest income? Who holds the government debt? Is it held mostly by rich people or mostly by working class people? You have to know a lot about the economy before you know what effect changing the interest rate will be. How the effect be different if you look at the short and long run? So, for instance, yeah. lowering the interest rate might be uh, might increase economic activity and inflation in the short run, but in the longer run, it might be uh, deflation. Well, there is that too. <laughs> there is that too. But also, I thought you were talking about the short maturities and long maturities. It, even mainstream economists agree that if you raise the short rate, but the long rate doesn't go up, your impact is pretty small. So we also have to know how does raising the target rate affect the other interest rates? And here, it's, again, it's not clear what the effect will be on long maturities. Okay, the central bank is never independent, so you don't start with the assumption the central bank is independent. That's just false. The central bank cannot hit inflation targets. It has no tools to hit those. So, so things like the Taylor rule are just fantasy. Central banks can't affect the interest rate in any determinate way. The best practice is actually about what we're doing right now. And that is pay 25 basis points on reserves and charge 50 basis points uh, on uh, lending of reserves, operate as a clearer for the Treasury and for the banks. So this is essentially Keynes's euthanize the rentier. Permanently near zero interest rate. 